refrigeration truck, like a uh, for Cisco Food Corporation. So Yo, so what's going on? You, you caught me watching YouTube. Watching YouTube. Watching. <laughs> hey, look. I just wanted to make a response video to LaShawn Park on point trucking logistics. I hope I said that right. But I wanted to. Bro, can I talk? Can I? Just like LaShawn. Always trying to talk over people. Can I talk, bro? Can I talk? Pause. Hey, can I, can I talk? You had your video, dog. Can I respond? Even in my response video, he talking over me, dog. That's some crazy stuff, right? So, I was watching his video. I'm watching it again, because I actually watched it probably about three, four hours ago. And I just need to refresh myself. But, on the video, just need to, you know, see what he was talking about. Because there was some things in there that I did not agree with. Um, but I understand where he coming from. I was going to steal guilty 718s like, yo, he talking about you? Yeah, I would, but I'm just not that good with editing yet, so okay, that would have been whack. But anyway, um, so I'm going to have to watch this a little bit and then I'm going to come back and, and, and speak on some of the things that I disagree with in the video. Alright, so I'll be right back. Hold up, press pause, bro. Bro, I've been watching this video but I can't get to the good points because he got all these damn ads in that zone, bruh. Hold on. Got all these ads. Hold on. Wifey. Right, so, you know. It's, hey, bruh, look. I want you to know your editing is on point, man. Okay? Thumbs up on that. But we're going to keep watching. I, it's, I think it's towards the end where I disagree. I'm, I'm sure it's him saying, should you lease or not? I don't know. Let me watch a little bit more and I'll be right back. Yo, be patient. Okay, ain't that what they told me? So I'm telling you, be patient. Chill, be chill. Actually, to what my purpose was on on being in this lease or, or doing what? Why are you in the lease for? Are you in it for the, the bonus payout or are you in it? What are you in it for? You just know that you can train and you'll make additional money, but end goal game is what? To ever own it? I mean, you are you going to do at least purchase? And that's something I want to bring up too. Go to our break. Bam. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, bro. Oh, hell no. Oh, hey, bro. That's what happened when you buy cheap equipment, bro. What the heck? Oh, hold, hold on. We back. Hey, bro. Maybe I should edit that out. Oof. Hey, look. How can I make a response video when I can't even have my equipment work? But anyway, that was this not I can't even it's a response video, but it's more of a acknowledging his story and acknowledging his mistakes and acknowledging that I'm watching. Okay, so it's not it's not like a it's no beef, it's I disagree with some of the stuff and I probably as we get to the end of the video, but when you when you said, what is your end game, right? End game, I could buy this truck, but the real end game for me with leasing is to stack my money to get to buying my own truck. Okay, again, I made for myself. This is me just kind of talking to you guys, talking to him, but. I made necessary sacrifices before I came out into trucking. Okay? I didn't know, just like he said, I didn't know what to really expect. But what I knew was I need to have my personal bills to a minimum. Okay? Personal bills first. Before I even go out here doing anything with this trucking thing. Personal bills. Okay? I got rid of my apartment. I got rid of my car. I got rid of my motorcycle. I took my family from Virginia. To, well, you see, I guess you could say from Newport News to Petersburg down to Georgia. Okay, to, to, to live with my mother. Okay, necessary sacrifices. I didn't have to do that, 
but to grow my business to to really um, uh, profit off of this trucking thing I felt at the time not knowing what I'm going to get myself into and sometimes you doubt just because it's like I gotta leave my one-year-old beautiful son my gorgeous wife for a long period of time am I making the right decision so I made sure again because I knew and see what because they you know when they come and do the recruiting thing $900 a week blah 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 I'm smarter than that I know that's before taxes so I knew if 900 a week be somewhere around six seven depending on how your taxes are how much did I need to make a week or how much did I need my bills to be to be successful so you know my end game is to have my own trucking company okay I, and, I, and I'm not talking and that's the thing when 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 guys talk about you know leasing and talk down about me being at Stevens and like, bro, y'all not even on my level on some serious shit. Okay, the shit that's up here, like, y'all, to be, I, like, to tell you what's really in the workings, I'll probably blow your freaking mind. Okay, so, and it's not a shot at Loshan, this is just me talking with, just watching the trucking YouTube universe. Okay, and listening to owner operators who's been trucking for 20 freaking years in the truck stop. Like, bro, you ain't retired yet. You know, so the end game, my end game is so much bigger than just a truck. Y'all don't even understand that. So when people are like, oh, you need to live, bro, you don't understand. Again, my business plan is built right now through Stevens Transport. Okay? So end game, which it, bro, that is a great, watch this video now. Okay, hold on. Make sure we, okay. I don't know. Make sure you watch that video. It's a great video. You know, because what happened was my student, he played it for me because, you know, I was driving. I didn't touch anything. And I was just listening. And then me being the person I am, I'm like, oh, I'm about to make a rip. But now watching it again, it's like, hmm, okay. So again, end game is to blow up. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's watch some more and I'll be right back. I gotta do a video on that. It, there is a difference between leasing and a lease purchase. There is a difference. You understand? They're not the same. They're not. They, they're not the same. One has a end goal game, and one just kind of like does not. Pause. End. Pause. There. We, that's probably. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. There it is. You have to know how to use it. There is an end goal game in leasing. Case in point in my situation. And even in his situation. He just didn't know it at the time. Like he said in the beginning. But your lease in go game was to get you ready for what you're doing now. Those leases that them four years of leasing, bruh, have made you a better owner operator. So in go, it is an in go game in leasing. For the right people, I guess. For the people that have that mindset. He had that. You got that mindset, bro. You just didn't know it at the time. Your end goal game was to own fleets. How else would you know how to manage a truck without leasing? Right? It's just me. That's how I'm looking. My opinion, they are different. One, you got to give the truck back and you paid all this money and you have nothing to show for it in the truck. Money-wise, you do. Okay, me with my first lease, I had money. I had money to show for it. For a one-year lease, my end goal game was to continue to stack money to get on the level that Loshan is on right now, or maybe even higher. Okay, so I didn't agree with there's no end goal game in leasing, because even with like you said, you know, at Prime, y'all your, your lease deductible was ten thousand after four years. Okay. After two years in my lease here at Stevens, every it should be a I should have eleven thousand dollars, eleven thousand dollars. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. I'm really, I'm, I'm really thinking of purchasing this truck. I'm really thinking, you know what? Let's go ahead and just let's skip it. Let's skip the lease. 
I, I know I've, I've mastered the lease, bro. I've mastered it. At, even as a trainer, whatever, if I was solo, I mastered this, bro. The lease. So it's time for me to step, take a step forward. So, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about purchasing this truck. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we go from there. Okay. I'm thinking about getting multiple trucks. And we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, I didn't agree with that. There is an end goal game in leasing if you're doing it right. Now, if you're just a person that's just watching YouTube and watching guys just make money and you think that's how it's going to be for you and you ain't business sense and you're not willing to do what you have to do to be successful, then, yeah, leasing ain't an end goal game for you. Stay your ass over there with company and you'll be just fine. There's nothing wrong with being company. There's nothing wrong. It's, it's not, man. It's not. You have to do what makes sense for you. So I didn't agree with the end goal game. So I'm going to watch some more and I'll be back. Be patient. <sighs> a uh, lease payout or a bonus of like $10,000. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. For the amount of the payments that you're paying per week on that truck. Okay. It's not worth it. When you break it down, you, and people have said this before renting a truck to do a job essentially right yeah but you are spending a lot of money a lot of money uh, as far as to get the job done with no in jay you retard unless your end goal game is to always collect this into the least bonus ten thousand but see again kind of disagree um when i started trucking okay i quit my job I, there was no income. Well, I can't say it was a little bit. My wife was like part-time professor at Strayer College, right? Um, but <laughs> but um, <clears throat> for two months, I had no income coming into my house before I came in the truck. Two months. Now that right there should show you something. I was able to last two months with no income and enjoy life too. But <clears throat> yes, leasing, do I pay a lot of money? Yes, but I do have a brand new truck. 685 a week, man. 685 a week, let me, because I, I did a video before this, I'm gonna put it out after this, but I messed up all, oh my gosh. So 685 times 52, divided by 12 I'm paying $2,900 a month for this brand new truck that I'm the only one who's been driving this other than my students you know what I'm saying so let's just say round it up because it's $2,968 so $3,000 a month now that is a lot of money but just think about this when I came like I said came into trucking I maxed out my credit cards, emptied my bank accounts, not all of them, emptied them out. Credit was horrible. And I was able to start a business because uh, who, who got a D? I, hey, Dean, I, I, I subscribed to you and he said how to start a business with bad credit. I did that. Okay. It's no shade. It's not hard, bro. It's not hard. Okay, like the right brother said a year ago, $156, actually $152 in Virginia, you got yourself a business, okay? And you're going to have some haters out there, oh, that ain't no real business. Hey, bro, go kick rocks and eat nails, okay? It's a business, bro. It's so funny that you got these guys who's been owner-operators for 20 years. They keep forgetting where they came from. They, they just came into trucking. And was a owner op, big money grip, knew how to do everything. Right, right. So anyway, yes, you are paying a lot. Now I will I can find some people who are okay with this payment. I'm one of them. For now, okay? Which in my other video, we're gonna try to how can we lower our expenses in our business of trucking? Okay, again, this truck is just a tool, man. This is a tool to get me to expand my business, to, to 
make more money to be able to buy trucks. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, it's a lot of money. If I wanted to continue to lease, I could still be profitable. And here at Stevens, the longer you lease, the lower your payments, the more free truck payments you get, okay? Again, if you don't know too much about the lease program, not talking to you, Loshan, but outside people that, oh, you can't make any money at, at Stevens. If you don't know about the lease program, you should shut your mouth, okay? It's a guy, it's crazy. I don't even know why he got this many free truck payments, but he's been here for a long time. And he's got a lot of free truck payments. It's, he got so many, he can't even use them. Can't even use them. He's just going to pay them out at the end of the lease. And he's been leasing for over 11 years at Stevens Transport. So, you know, it's just, people, it's, it's not an end game for you, for him, which is understandable. But what I'm trying to do is show people, like, dog, uh, just have a plan. If your plan might not be to own a fleet. Your plan might not, might, uh, may not be to be an owner-operator. You might just want, okay, maybe you do want to be an owner-operator, but you just want one truck. Or maybe you just want to be a great paid company guy. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with his video. I'm just giving my opinion from watching a great video. Edited very April. I'm trying to work on my edits too, so don't try to, you know what I'm saying? But you can have an end game in just leasing, bro. I know, bro, I'm telling you, leasing is not as bad as they say it is, man. It's not. It's not. Now, to be honest with you, is leasing for me? No. Okay? Because I'm looking for bigger and better and and, and more things. Okay, I'm I'm gonna to be to the point where I don't have to lease. Okay, there's companies that were started where they only lease trucks first. Some of these mega carriers, all they did was lease trucks until they would got to the point where they could pay cash, cash, cash. Because me personally, okay, if you can't pay cash for it, you might as well lease it. If you make a payments anyway, and this, you know, it, my my opinion, if okay, this thing about if I buy a truck. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it when I'm done? If 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 I need it, where am I gonna put it? Say something happens, I gotta go home for a while. Where am I gonna put that truck? I don't have nowhere to put that truck right now. I will soon though. <laughs> Stop. So that's just my I, me my opinion. Great video. I think it's some more to it. So let me um let me watch it. It's, it's about about a minute left. So. That's every four years. Every four years. Okay, that's every four years. Or at the time. And see, at Prime, time. I think I don't I don't know too much about Prime. It seems like y'all's is like a lease purchase kind of thing. I don't know. But y'all lease for four years. We can lease one, two, three, and four years here at Stevens. So lease programs are kind of different. Almost four years. So let's just say that. That's not a good plan. Okay. I as, disagree. As a terrible well, when well, his probably so every, ten, every four years you make ten thousand dollar bonus. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Okay, you that's not good at all. Twenty five hundred dollar bonus every year, like, bro. That's you can make that in a week training, bro. Like, what are you paying into? Right. So you're paying in. So you spend. Let's just say fifty fifty thousand dollars a year. Hey, bro, is there another ad about to come up, bro? Just to Bro, it's about to be another ad. Come on. Okay. It's Here's how easy it is to make it. Can't even watch the video because he got all the ads in the jump. Dang, Loshan. These dudes with these monetized YouTubes, bro. I can't stand them. So you still gave away 40, 48, or 47.5? That doesn't make sense. Nah, not for me. What? Well, I don't know. What are you talking about? think about these things. And these are the things that I didn't think about that now... To be continued. Hey, bro, I'm looking forward to part two, bro. Great video, great editing. Hey, bro, I don't own the rights to this music. Let me turn this off while I get demonetized. You know what I'm saying? But look, hey, great video. I just disagreed on some of the stuff. I think that Leeson made Lotion Parks who he is now, why he's successful, allegedly. 
Oh, bang! Hey, bro. Hey, it's all fun and games, bro. But look, I'm looking forward to number two. Because uh, hopefully I can get my opinion on that joint, too. Hey, bro, I appreciate for the content. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't about that life, bro, don't respond to videos. You know what I'm saying?